we are going to be spending the next few nights staying on this remote island oh my god i love this place <laughs> <laughs> and we are here for the island experience and if you don't know what that is it's an authentic island life experience centered around staying in these massive bamboo huts and it looks right out over the ocean it's absolutely it's unreal. beautiful is there any people <laughs> is you making dinner fair play to you thanks <laughs> yes as you can imagine with oil and life there is going to be some limitations so over the next few days we'll have no wi-fi we won't have any air conditioning we are literally going to have to rough it because we are on an island in the middle of nature so this will stop any insects biting us <laughs> <laughs> one of the girls was saying she's seen one in her hut and was like this size. So. <laughs> okay, no, can't see any smother. No? No. I think you're all good to go. Okay, time to test out the shower. Oh, what a mad situation. It's no better to last round. <laughs> One of them is called Wilma. Wilma? <laughs> Come on. I don't know why I think they're so funny, but they are. <laughs> Supposedly later on we're going to be learning a Filipino dance and we all have to take part in it. <laughs> With this current trip that me and Samantha are on coming up to the eight month period, this seemed like the perfect place to disconnect, at least for a few days. Thank you very much, you're so kind. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome to our bamboo hut. Let me show you inside. As you can see, it has a spiral staircase to get inside. The whole thing is made from bamboo. It's absolutely gorgeous. We have the extra large one. So it's actually quite tall. Look at the height of that roof. <laughs> We also have three beds, which we only need one because it's just me and Keelan. <laughs> there's a double bed and there's two single beds. The beds and all are made from bamboo. It's amazing. There's actually mosquito nets as well covering over the beds, which is great because we are on an island in the middle of nature. So this will stop any insects biting us <laughs> <laughs> or getting in the bed, which we don't want. <laughs> Look at the bottles as well as decoration on the beds. It's really cool, isn't it? Mm. They're sort of just tied to it. Really gives it that like island life vibes. This is the best part of our hut. This is our balcony and it looks right out over the ocean. It's absolutely it's unreal. beautiful. Isn't it? Isn't it stunning? It's absolutely incredible. We've never stayed anywhere like this, honestly. No, it's definitely very unique, isn't it? The way it's, there's no windows in it. It's just <laughs> like that the sea breeze just comes in from here right into our room. No windows at all. So as I said, <laughs> this is a balcony, but it's actually like attached to the room. And we have a little cover here and we can zip it if we want. I think that's for rain. Is that what yeah, that is? Yeah, yeah. it's for rain, but if it doesn't rain, you just keep it open. You can it? just keep it open. I mean, whether it rains or not, you probably could shut mm. it. But yeah, it's probably to block the rain coming through. Maybe you're yeah. right. But that's why we have the mosquito nets as well, because yeah. like that it is open out. But um, I can't wait to actually wake. We've only arrived, but I can't wait to wake up here in the morning. I know. That'll be the first thing that we see when we wake up. That can't be uh, bad for you, can it? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> So the idea behind the Isla experience that we're doing is to give people a feel for like the simplicity of island life. So the huts actually are quite basic. We have no AC, but we do actually have a fan there. The place doesn't have a huge amount of light in, but there is one light there that we have inside our hut. We also don't have our own bathroom, <laughs> but there is a communal shared bathroom just outside of our hut, so. And there's also a shower with that as well. And speaking of shower, they also gave us two towels. So yeah, that is our hut. And we can't wait to spend the next three nights here. Honestly, we're so excited. We've just checked in and we met all the people who, who run the place here at Isla Experience and they're all very welcoming, very nice. They actually gave us a quick brief on what we can do on the island. So even though it is quite small, it does seem like there is a lot for us to do. So yeah, we're really excited. And as I said, yeah, we can't wait to spend the next three nights here.
Right, so we're after getting changed into our island clothes. <laughs> <laughs> nice and fresh now, we were roasting, honestly. But uh, I just want to show you around the rest of the island and what they have on offer at the Islet Experience. So I don't know how many huts there are exactly on the island, but there is a lot. So there's a row here where we're staying and then they go right around the other side, but they all come in different shapes and sizes. So we're in the extra large one, but there's also like a small one there next to us as well that you can see. And uh, the small ones are actually quite cute too. And they all have their own individual names. So the name of our one is Sebalton. So yeah, they all have their own kind of individual names, which is really cool. Also, right outside our hut, there is a volleyball net, which is one of the activities you can do here. We've actually seen a few people playing, so we're definitely going to jump in on a game. Right, so, and this is the toilet situation. So I did mention earlier, we don't actually have a toilet in our hut. Uh, but there is a few of them spread around the grounds and which is really handy then as well so this one is actually quite close to our hut so if we do need to use the toilet during the night it's not too far of a walk so the showers then just at the back of the toilets and again there's a couple of showers around as well so plenty for everybody so this block here there's three so there's three uh, showers one yeah. two three and then there's another kind of uh out outhouse i guess you'd say on the other side there as well so yeah it's handy and as i said there is a few toilets spread around the island mm. and each of them have showers at the back of the toilets yeah so there's plenty of showers for everybody another thing to mention the island does have a restaurant slash bar so you can get a breakfast lunch and dinner and it's a buffet done out every day so it's really convenient and also the bar sells some soft drinks and alcohol drinks they also have a lovely cocktail list so i think we'll enjoy some of them later on for sure and they also do karaoke how cool is this bar <laughs> i also like this feature here wilson <laughs> It does feel like we're on Castaway, doesn't it? Oh my god, <laughs> yeah! Wilson! Also, between the meals, so we have breakfast, lunch and dinner then, there's also some snacks as well that you can get. So they have like a fruit salad, some french fries, sweet potato fries, a vegan platter as well. Yes. That's really good actually to know. Um, so yeah, there's a, there they're just the snacks as well that you can get. But this is actually the area where we eat. So the food is served off this table. It's thrown out like a buffet. And then we all eat together over here, which is actually really nice because you get to meet new people and exactly, get yeah. chatting and share stories and everything else. So I've also heard something really funny. <laughs> Supposedly later on, we're going to be learning a Filipino dance and we all have to take part in it. <laughs> there's so, no, you have to do it. There's no excuses. So I just can't wait to see Keelan. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> right, so now that we're all settled in, we've heard that the island has some pigs. So I think it's feeding time for them now. So we're going to go down onto the beach. I'm not too sure if we'll get to feed them. But we're going to go down and have a look. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Robot, come on. What is that? Wilma. One of them is called Wilma. Wilma. <laughs> come on. Get you, Betty. Go. Go, Betty. Go. Go, 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 go. Names Betty, Wilma, and Peppa. They're so funny, aren't they? <laughs> little island pigs, or not so little. Some of them were too quite was big. Quite one large, of them was yeah. small. Peppa was the little small one. Yeah. Oh, that was funny. That was so funny. And you've yeah. probably seen there as well the people who are feeding them. So, how uh, how it works here at the oil experience is that people can volunteer so that they come and they stay for like a week or two weeks I think one couple in particular are here two months and what they do is they come they arrive to the island they stay in the island but then they also volunteer and they do kind of like ch daily chores I guess you'd say and and help with, with guests and tours and things like that so so those people that were feeding the pigs they're actually volunteers so um, it's a big cool job isn't it? it's a cool <laughs> job we were only saying that we got taught with them it's a great opportunity as well if you are a traveler and you're traveling and mm. you just want to sort of stop over they always take on volunteers yeah and which I, is great so you can just apply online and like there was one girl we got talking to and she's like a yoga instructor mm. 
mm. so she's offering to do yoga here then as well so that's yeah. like core volunteer work yeah. and uh, yeah it's just really good it isn't is it? Cool, like, yeah. I have to say they look after us very well so obviously like we're guests here yeah. and um, they really look after you and yeah. help out with like the different activities so we plan to go snorkeling now in a while yeah. and one of the lads from New Jersey yeah is so one of the volunteers will bring us because there's a shipwreck um, over there somewhere that we can go and see when, while we snorkel so like so one of the volunteers will bring us to do that so it's pretty cool the way it's set up isn't it's it? really cool yeah okay so as we said earlier snorkeling is one of the activities that we can do here and i think we mentioned briefly as well that there's a shipwreck out here that we can kind of swim out to and see so that's what we're doing now one of the volunteers uh eunice he's from new jersey in uh, in america he's going to bring us out and uh, and show us he knows exactly where it is uh, it's not too far actually from the uh from the shore so i think we got maybe like a 10 minute swim to get there and then we can kind of snorkel and see uh, just what it's like so we're looking forward to it it's a bit choppy to be fair and uh, if you watch our videos and that's why not a strong swimmer so we're hoping that we'll be able to to do it and everything will be okay <laughs> i'm stuck <laughs> Also, the way the current is, the hardest part is to get out here. Once we get out here and we want to come back, the current will just bring us back to shore. So the, the most difficult part is actually swimming out to the point of where the shipwreck is. Which is great. I don't mind. I'm looking forward to obviously getting yeah, out there because it's supposed to be amazing. We've heard so many people say like you have to go out there. Yeah. So I was sort of second thinking it because it is quite windy as well and the current is quite strong. I'm not really the strongest swimmer. I love snorkeling. I've done many trips around our travels, but it's usually the boat actually brings you to the snorkeling spot and I just have to simply get down the ladder and then off I go I'm there in the spot with all the fish but this is obviously takes a little bit more effort yeah, so yeah yeah let's hope I get on okay <laughs> just saying there Keelan looks like a minion <laughs> swimming in the water <laughs> situation it's no better to last rain <laughs> but we did get to see the boat which is really cool so now we're just going to let the, the current take it back to shore oh that was pretty cool that when we were out in the water. Okay, good morning. It's day two. We are we slept all right to be fair, didn't we? Like even though there was like a crazy wind coming through the front of the, the hull. There was a um, crazy wind coming through. I've never experienced anything <laughs> like it, but we slept grand and mm. in saying that the bed and the mattress is it's really so comfortable. Cozy. It is, yeah. yeah and the yeah. breeze itself is actually quite cool, so it is cooling you down as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's 8.30 now, they just sounded this little like kind of horn thing which indicates that uh, meals are going to be served so obviously it would have been a tour in the morning it's now time for breakfast yeah. 
Right, time to test out the shower. from it and I'm nice and clean. So there's a local village and not many people live there um, and I think there's like a little shop as well that you can pick up a few snacks. So we're gonna just take a walk in and have a little look around. <laughs> Spiders. <laughs> I got up mm. this morning and uh, there was like a big massive spider <laughs> on the door looking at me as I was going to the toilet. <laughs> it was too late then to run, but I'm getting Keelan just to check now. I'm okay. not a fan. Okay, spider check. <laughs> okay, no, can't see any smother. No? No. I think you're all good to go. Okay. To be fair, the one earlier was the first one we've seen on our trip in mm. Asia so far. I thought I would have seen a lot more of them over here. But uh, one of the girls was saying she's seen one in her hut and was like this size. <laughs> so that sort of freaked me out. <laughs> I don't think I can really describe Samantha's fear of insects. You'd have to actually see it in action. But um, I mean, you might be thinking, why the hell are we in Southeast Asia with a fear of insects? Because <laughs> they are everywhere. But in fairness to her, like she's definitely come a long way in, in terms of uh, her reaction to things like that, you know, obviously there's still gonna be come a couple of things that still freak her out, you know But this is what coming to places like this is all about you are literally Immersed into nature. So whatever is going on here. It's gonna be part of it. There's no There's no way around it. It's just that's just par for the course when you come and you stay in a remote island like this You're gonna have all these insects all this wildlife the different sounds of different birds different creatures animals you hear it um, at night time and stuff like that, so it's just it is part of it, I guess you'd say, but like I said, she's come a long way. Right, so I just asked, we're gonna actually walk to the village by ourselves. They do <laughs> do a village tour that you can go with a group and they just tell you a little bit about the village, but we're actually just gonna take a little walk in ourselves. We might end up meeting the group as we get in there, but uh, we've been directed, so we have to go this way. We might have to ask a couple of people on the way. I think it's like a 10 minute walk, okay. not too sure. But uh, I just noticed there, <laughs> the gate is just a drop and like one of the big like palm leaves I was just sort of falling in the tree. Oh, did it? Yeah, the right. wind is wild. Like. Okay, so don't get hit in the head by a coconut. Yeah, I'm telling you. <laughs> right, head down and nice and quick. Yeah. yeah, this one here, look at this just fell. Off the tree. Off the tree, yeah. They're this is what I'm saying. Well. This is oil and life, Samantha. This is the real deal. I know. This is proper testing me now. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, it's proper windy as well here. The weather is just so. Like five minutes, it can be just absolutely glorious sunshine, real calm seas. And then literally five minutes later, it's just wind, rain, things falling out of trees. All within the space of five minutes. It's mental. people <laughs> this is like a something you see in a movie it's like a kind of ghost town that we've just stumbled into there's only about maybe eight or nine of kind of like shack kind of houses and um, we're on the lookout for a, a shop to get a drink we found, we found a little one, but there's shop. nobody there it's yeah, actually there. there's nobody around no at all it's like a ghost village oh here's somebody hello no, we can't. Shop closed. Is this closed? Oh, it is. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Nobody in the shop? No? No. No. Oh, okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Hi. <laughs> oh, just over here. Okay, great. There's a shop over here. Okay, great. Okay, thank, thank you very you. much. Okay, so there's two shops. <laughs> the other one was closed, but this one seems to be open. We are parched, all this walking by the sea and swimming and stuff, all the salt, whoa, uh, just makes it so touristy, <laughs> doesn't it? And then the heat. So yeah, we're on the lookout for some cold water. Right, this shop looks like they might have some people in it. Oh, yeah. 
Hello. Could we get something in this shop? Yeah. Yeah. Come in. Come in. Come in. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Whoa. Oh, hello. <laughs> Hi. Yes, you're making I dinner. Can. Fair play to you. Thanks. <laughs> hello. Come inside, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> We are looking for a cold drink. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's not working. It's oh, not working. it's not yeah. working. Okay. Turn on the generator. Ah, oh, okay. If you want, ah, it's too cold. Okay, no okay, problem. Okay, so what, 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 you want to pick up some bits anyway, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no problem. You still need a bag. No, it's okay. okay. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. What is your name? Uh, Keelan. Keelan. And, and I'm Samantha. Samantha. Yes, yeah. what's your name? Giselle. 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 Yeah. Nice Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Thank you for being open. <laughs> Keelan. Keelan. <laughs> Thank you very Samantha. much. Samantha. Uh, next, tomorrow you leave. Yes. Uh, yes. Next year you're coming again. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> for sure. We love it here. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you. Tomorrow bye bye. you leave. Enjoy your travel. Thank you. Wow. Bye. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, you too. <laughs> Okay, so it's dinner time again. We're hearing that sound, that horn to let everyone know that um, uh, food is about to be served. Also, we heard tonight there's going to be a few drinks, there's some karaoke, and also we have to learn um, a Filipino dance. So we've got um, a jam packed evening in store. I have the torch on my phone because it's pitch black. Now it is lovely, there's lights going right around it, but uh, it's actually only quite early as well. Dinner is at uh, 7.30, it's 20 past. After a lovely dinner, we spent the rest of the evening enjoying some drinks, chatting to fellow travellers, singing some songs on the karaoke, which Filipinos love by the way, before finishing our night off with a very funny traditional Filipino dance. The next day we were determined to have the full Euler experience. This meant putting the cameras away, turning our phones off and completely disconnecting from our usual day to day. Since we started travelling and creating videos for our YouTube channel, we have always been doing something. Whether that's talking into the camera, taking pictures and videos on our phones, posting to social media or doing some crazy activity. But today, for the first time, we did absolutely nothing. This island promotes freedom the simplicity of doing nothing with no distractions, to relax and let time pass without caring or worrying about anything else. We didn't realize, but this was something that we both needed. We said earlier in the vlog that this trip in particular has been eight months long. We have traveled through India, we have traveled through Thailand, we spent some time in Malaysia, and now we are moving through the Philippines. It's been go, 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 so to have this day was very special. So much for watching we would also like to say a huge thank you to the island experience for inviting us to this wonderful island if you are traveling to the philippines we would highly recommend visiting this beautiful island we are definitely sad to be leaving this island bye cabin bye 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 bye, bye. thank you for all of the information about the island experience we will leave their link in our description our Filipino adventures continues, so please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell for all of our future uploads. Once again, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.